Okay, I'll keep traveling on the Tintin Adventure timeline. The next stop takes me to the theater again. It's been a while since Tintin's last place, but there was a new one in London in 2007. Hergé's Adventures of Tintin. So, let's go to the theater, shall we? The only problem is, there's not much that can be said about the play, except that it got some very good reviews and a few not so good. Information about the play is difficult to find and imagery that gives a good impression is even more difficult. The authors David Gregg and Rufus Norris took it upon themselves to adapt the story Tintin in Tibet for the theater. The play ran between the end of 2007 and the beginning of 2008 in London's West End in the theater The Playhouse. The reviews all confirm that the play is very imaginative. The set, the characters and the actors match Hergé's drawings. Even the plot, which has some additions, seems to be implemented very well. For example, something was added that always puzzled me as a child as well. The story is about a plane crash in Tibet. On board the plane that crashed was Tintin's good friend Chang Chong Chen, who is believed to be dead. Tintin refuses to admit it because he had a couple of nightmares that convince him otherwise. So he, Captain Haddock and a Sherpa named Tharki set off for the crash site. They actually arrive there, but there are no dead people to be seen at the plane wreck. That puzzled me even as a child, I asked myself whether the dead people had already been taken away or whatever happened, and there are no traces of a transportation operation. In the play, a scene was added in which Tintin comes across a few dead while searching the wreck, and the dead talk to him. That must be a very creepy scene that is going on on the stage. And not much more can be said about the play. You don't find much about it, and as I said, the image material is few and far between. But it's a proof that Tintin was never really gone, even if you haven't heard so much of him. And all the while this was going on, there were plans for a very new Tintin project. <laughs> 